your 2023 Roland Garros champion, Iga Swiatek, who successfully defends her title to win a third Roland Garros title and her fourth Grand Slam title from four Grand Slam finals. It's absolutely incredible. She is just 22 years of age. The only set she would drop would be in the final, but she was pushed all the way. We had two hours and 46 minutes of top class tennis in her battle with Karolina Mukova. It's lovely to have your company. It's finals weekend. Some said there would be rain, but the weather has held firm. And it was a beautiful occasion on Philippe Chatry. If you haven't had a chance to see the match, we're going to have highlights for you very shortly. We'll also be rounding up the other winners from day 14 and be hearing from Karolina Mukova. But there is only one place to start with a 21-year-old young lady guaranteed to continue her run at world number one. This astonishing record of four Grand Slam finals and now four Grand Slam titles. She is a four-time major. She's a three-time winner here at Roland Garros. Here is your winner speaking on court, Iga Swiatek. Thank you, guys. Um, first of all, congrats to Carolina. Um, my members of my team are witnesses that even since we first played, I knew that we're going to play you know, tough matches, play these finals, because I was really struck with your variety on court and... I really hope we're going to have many more finals. And congrats to your team as well. I know how much teams are important in, that, in our sport, even though it's individual sport. I wouldn't be here without my team. So really, thank you, guys. Sorry for being such a pain in the... <laughs> I'll try to do better. I know that we won this tournament, but but it's not easy, you know, and being on tour for a couple of weeks without breaks, it, it's tough. So I'm really happy that we can feel satisfied right now and just celebrate. Thank you, guys. Thank you to my family as well. Um, so many people who came from Poland, I really feel the love, so um, thank you. I ogromne podziękowania dla mojego taty. Bez niego by mnie tu nie było. Bez dwóch zdań. And I know I've been saying that every year, but it's not about really the performance. I really love being here, and I, basically it's my favorite place on tour. So thank you guys, everybody, um, tournament organizers, sponsors, people who are working behind the scenes, as, as Carolina said. Um, really, you're making this tournament so great for us that it's always a pleasure to come back and just give 100%, you know, so, so thank you guys. Now, in case you did miss it, and we'll be hearing from Carolina Mukov a little bit shortly, let's run you through the story of this match. Now, this was a, a second meeting between the two. It was a first since 2019. Their previous one had actually come on clay, and this was an incredible stat that Iga Swiatek in her career on clay, when winning the first set, was 56 and won. That one defeat to Carolina Mukova, and it was a slightly nervy start for Mukova, understandable. This is the young lady whose doctor told her when she was young that due to her injuries, she may not have a career as a professional tennis player. And here she is in a Grand Slam final. But Iga Swiatek, who got the break in the first, she was able to, to pull away against Karolina Mukova and just to assert herself with this very aggressive play of hers, getting as, as forward as much as she possibly could to put the pressure on and to keep Mukova at the back of the court. So the first set would go the way of Shiontek. And then in the second set, the big difference was the forehand down the line that Mukova was playing time and time again to keep asserting the pressure on Iga Shiontek. She was finding her game. She was mixing things up. She doesn't have that one powerful shot, but she's got such incredible variety in her game. She was getting wonderful support from the crowd. It was pretty much split between the two. She would take that second set. That would be the first set that Iga Swiatek would lose in a Grand Slam final. 
But look at that moment, a double fault, unfortunately, for Mukova, match point down. And the emotion, the realization that at the age of 22, she's a three-time Roland Garros champion, a place she feels so at home at. She turned 22 here recently. A wonderful embrace between the two at the net. But the emotion, clear to see for Iga Svantec. It is quite incredible since she took over the number one ranking when Ash Barty stepped away from tennis. She's asserted herself at the top of the rankings. And she is the player to beat. She's got about a thousand point lead now for Marina Sabalenka, the world number two. So wonderful moments from Iga Svantec. And we'll see a few more of those very shortly. But we do want to hear from the 26-year-old Karolina Mukova, who has battled injuries. She left the court in a wheelchair here last year due to ankle problems, but she is finally fully fit. She made a wonderful display of her tennis. She took Iga Svantec to three sets and she was quite emotional when she spoke after the match. Thank you very much. I'll try to keep it short because it's a bit emotional. This is incredible. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. It's been amazing to actually three weeks here in Paris for me and, and for my team. This was so close, but yet so far that, that happens when you play one of the best um, Iga. So I, I want to congratulate you out loud once again and your team. <laughs> I want to thank um, everyone behind the curtains as well, the, the people who help us um, in lockers and everywhere, physios. Um, Paul Kitts, every volunteer who is um, involved, it's, it's, it's been amazing tournaments. I would repeat, uh, repeat myself again, so thank you very much. <laughs> I would like to thank each one of you. It's impossible, but Thank you very much, guys. I think I wouldn't be standing here if you were not pushing me each match and um, the energy and everything. I've, I've never, never lived this, and this is uh, unbelievable. So thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Also wonderful to see Chris Evert, who is part of the presentation ceremony, handing out the trophies. And for Mukova, she came in as the world number 43. She moves to the world number 60. But now it's traditional for winners of Grand Slams. They go and find their box. However they have to get there, they will get there because this, it's about the team. It is not just one person. They talk time and time again. It takes a village to bring up a person. It takes a team to grow a tennis player. And they are a very, very close team. They are a very, very successful team. Family members there as well. A really nice moments for Iga Svantec, wanting to celebrate with those closest to her. And it's not that far to get from the court to the player's box here on Philippe Chatria. There are further distances to climb. And a really nice team hug at the end. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of a celebration, but she will say that there is still more work to do as they continue on from here. So congratulations to her once again. But it wasn't just the women's singles title that was decided today. It has been a day of finals here at Roland Garros with the action beginning at 11 o'clock this morning. This was decide, to decide the world number one ranking in the wheelchair men's singles final between world number one Alfie Hewitt and 17-year-old Takito Oda from Japan. This would be his maiden Grand Slam title. It would make him the youngest male Grand Slam champion in any discipline, excluding juniors, since the professional era of tennis began. And also, together with being Roland Garros champion, Takito Oda is the new world number one. Congratulations to him. Disappointment for Alfie Hewitt, who is looking for title number four here and his eighth overall. But they're going to have many wonderful battles as the years progress. Over on court 14, Dida de Groot was extending her consecutive match win record to 103. 
It's an 18th Grand Slam title for the Dutch world number one, a third straight Roland Garros title, a fourth overall. She was taking on the second seed, Yui Kamiji, and a 10th consecutive Grand Slam title. The numbers that Dida de Groot are notching up are absolutely outstanding, and she won that title for the loss of just two games. She marches on Dida de Groot, now 103 consecutive match wins. They really are astonishing numbers. The big smiles all round as the trophies were presented. Then to the quad singles final. It was one against two. Niels Vink celebrating. He's the world number one as he beat his good friend and doubles partner, Sam Schroeder. It went the distance. It was a repeat of last year's final that Vink also won for what was his first major title then. Vink has now won three of the last five Grand Slam finals. They are good friends, they play doubles together, but it is a fierce rivalry on the singles court. But lovely to see that emotion between the two of them at the end. Other finals that we have for you today, big smiles as the trophies are presented when the junior competition, they were played on court Simone Mathieu, and it was Alina Kornieva, the world number one and the Australian Open champion, who had come through against Luciana Perez Alarcon. Just 15 years of age, Kornieva. Her second Grand Slam title of the year. She dropped just one set all tournament and becomes the first player to win two Grand Slam girls singles titles since 2013 when Anna Konyu and Belinda Bencic split the four. Congratulations to both girls, though. It was a hard fought final. Moving on to the junior boys final, which followed that, and it was 17 year old Dino Prismic from Croatia, the third seed in this tournament. He would come through in straight sets. Lovely little smile from Prismic there. And he was taking on the eight seed Juan Carlos Prado Angelo from Bolivia. 6 1, 6 4, the final score. And that would win him his first junior Grand Slam title. He would become the first Croatian boys singles champion since a man we know well, Marin Cilic, back in 2005. That big smile, all that hard work paying off. And we say congratulations to both of those men for getting to the final and to Prisic for coming away as the boys champion. So they were your finals to this point. We do, though, still have a final to be played. There we go. They're clearing the court on Philippe Chatrier, even Dode again, Austin Krychek. Now, they were in the final last year. They didn't win the title. They're the fourth seeds, taking on the unseeded pairing of Sander Gilles and Joran Vliegen of Belgium. And if you would like commentary of that, tune into Radio Roland Garros right now. We'll have every ball of that final and that will complete the finals for Saturday. If we take a look at your order of play for Sunday, the action starts at 11.30. That's with Shea Su Wei and Wong Chang taking on the 10th seed pairing of Leila Fernandez and Taylor Townsend. I think that's got the potential to be an absolute cracker to start things off. And then it's a not before 2.30 for Novak Djokovic against Kasparud. Kasparud looking to do something he's never won before. That's win a Grand Slam title. That's take a set off Novak Djokovic and then possibly get the win while Novak Djokovic is going for history. He is going well for his third title here, but for his 23rd Grand Slam singles title. The day today was all about Iga Svantec. Just to mark your card that we will be back with you tomorrow at 1.30. I'll be alongside Alex Karecha as we preview that men's final. I'll then be back with you around 30 minutes after the match point to look back and show you all the celebrations from the final. Will be we crowning a new Grand Slam champion or does Novak Djokovic move to 23? We'll find out tomorrow but we're going to leave you this evening. We could only leave you this evening with your 2023 Roland Garros women's singles champion, world number one defending champion, now four-time Grand Slam winner, Iga Sviantec.